Yo, this is your boy Zaki. You watching the JJ Lazo channel right here. Yo, this is your boy Zaki. Out again with another video. What I'm gonna do with it today, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna do with a powerful, unique icon that should have been made of great importance you know um, I've been meaning to do this video for for a while just haven't been able to get around to it just because I didn't know how to you know make my point across um, and also to the events that took place uh, last year kind of uh, threw me off a bit <coughs> what we're gonna do ladies and gentlemen is we're gonna we're gonna give in this channel uh, in this video as much as I can we're gonna give and we're gonna pay um, homage and respect to the, to the late Rashidi Akili um, Rashidi Akini is a legend. He's a legend. He's a legend that will live in the minds and hearts of millions of Nigerians today and tomorrow. Um, I was I was online here and I was going through some of the things that people wrote and said about Rashidi Akini and. I notice that there's no clear cut understanding of what Rashidi Yekini died from and that pisses me off you see ladies and gentlemen this this is why uh, if you're if you're in the continent of Africa whether in the east or west whatever whatever the case may be this is why we're the laughing stock of the world. Um, I can't imagine this happening in any other part of the world, whether in Europe or Latin America or USA. When, when somebody's a legend, they make a big name for themselves in a particular country. That country takes care of that person. That country holds that person in high reverence. You see? And for Rashidi Akini to go out the way he did, uh, the country of Nigeria should be ashamed of themselves. More so the the people who could have done better. You know, I, I, I don't I don't know the full story of Rashidi Akini's uh, international play for Nigeria. I do know that. Yekini loved the country and he wanted to represent the country to the best of his ability and you know thanks to a bunch of nonsense and mess uh, when Sonia Bacha took over took over the country and basically hindered Nigeria from going to South Africa to retain the Nations Cup that they won two years prior was basically the beginning of the end for Nigerian football ladies and gentlemen if you have a leader like Abacha or even Abasanjo or, or president, the president uh, Jonathan Goodluck who's, who in my mind his name should be Bad Luck it, it, it's those kind of leaders that really I mean destroy the nation I mean, these ladies, these people are blind, and they're basically leading people who can see. These leaders are a disgrace. You know, Abacha just basically told the Nigerian team um, he doesn't want them to go to South Africa to uh, retain the title. You know, just because Nelson Mandela said to Abacha you were wrong and you should not have uh, 
done get killed uh, killed Saro Riva like that you know Abacha was an evil wicked man he was wicked as hell so two years later 1998 the CAF uh, folks decided well since Nigeria pulled out of the 1996 African Nations Cup we're just, we're just gonna ban them for the 1998 African Nations Cup I mean, basically, you just left Rashidi Akini Hengi. He won the Nations Cup in 1994, and this strong, talented player cannot even go to two tournaments, 1996 and 1998 African Nations Cup, to, to even play and retain the title. None of them could. By the time the 2000 Nations Cup rule about Yekini was basically out of the out of the squad. And why? Nigerians, man, you people need to wake up. And that's the honest truth. Yes, some, there's some of your leaders over there are wicked as hell. And they're going to be judged. They're going to be judged. If you notice, I was going through this website, uh, Wikipedia, and if you check, how he, this is how Rashidi Akini uh, died. There's little information. I mean, what is it? He, he say he was suffering from bipolar, died from depression, something like. I mean, come on, man. In a country called Nigeria, we don't have the the straight facts to know what Rashidi Akini died from. It's a disgrace. You're wicked as hell. What happened? The first Nigerian soccer player to score and. In the World Cup match, and he he done did just win out like that. You see, they those who are responsible for that, responsible for that, they're gonna get their day in court. They're gonna they're gonna be judged. No, we, we all we will be so. No, uh, I, I, this this is who, this is who we are. Black people, African people. This is who we are. This is why we don't get the respect. Respect is earned. Um, Rashidi Akini, uh, he's the man. That's maybe that's why Nigeria is not a strong nation in terms of football. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're being judged. Until we can get our house in order, we're we're going to be we're going to be regressing. We're going to be left behind. And quote unquote small, smaller African nations, African nations and African teams are going to be beating us because they, they know how to do better than this. Nigeria better than this. We need to. I'm surprised there's not a single mass protest saying what happened to Yakini. What was the cause of his death? Show dumb them mad protest. But um. When, 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 when greed and corruption is the order of the day, what can I say?